And you might think fruity cocktails are just for the warm summer months, but think again. Here with fun and zesty in-season drinks, you're going to want to cheers to is Jason Scrobar, our favorite bartender. Yeah. Is it cocktail o'clock yet? I think it is cocktail o'clock yes. right, right now, actually. And we're going to make three cocktails. And like you said, we're doing in-season fruit. Now, you might think in Canada there aren't many fruits that are growing in the wintertime, but yeah. citrus and apples are both all available throughout the winter. Yeah. Um, and even uh, apples are usually local because they're able to be stored over the wintertime. So yes. we're starting with... Yeah. I feel like every time I come here, I make you a margarita, so I thought this time... I'm not time, mad at you. Right? So this time... <laughs> right. We're making an apple cider okay. margarita. Oh, nice. Okay, so we're going to keep the tradition going. We're going to keep the tradition going, it. right? Okay, so first, to make this, you're going to use a cocktail shaker. You're going to fill it with ice. Okay. We're adding, obviously, some tequila. And then we're using some apple cider, so hence the name, an apple cider margarita. We're going to free pour this, a little Beautiful. bit of apple cider. We're using some lime juice because nice. apple and lime are actually really good friends. So we're adding a little apple bit of and lime. lime. Always a good time. At I just made that up. <laughs> Who needs me when you've got? And, <laughs> and then I haven't even had any yet. <laughs> Think about what happens after right? the margarita. So we're adding a little bit of triple sec to mm -hmm. that. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to give it to you. You're going to give it, give a, it a big shake. shake. And we've got um, a glass, a cocktail Who's glass that's happen. rimmed with. Look at you go, right? Tom Cruise who? Right? So we've rimmed this with a bit of sugar, um, and then we're going to garnish it with like a little apple slice, and you can just I can never do this part. That out. I promise I'm strong. Yeah, we saw that earlier. Right? That is a beautiful looking drink, though. Color. And I think it is nice for this time of year, and I love the fact that you're using local. We right? say it about food all the time. Why not with drinks as well? There you go. Refreshing. Oh, it's very refreshing. Lime, apple. Mm, especially at work. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it's not even Friday. Well. <laughs> yes. Okay, what have we got next? So the next one we're doing is we're, we're really um, hitting the citrus here. We're doing a citrus sour. Okay. So we are going to use uh, some bourbon in this. So right. bourbon goes into a cocktail shaker. Now, I haven't put any ice in the cocktail shaker yet. I'm adding a little bit more bourbon. Oh, okay. Okay. And then I'm going to add lemon juice and grapefruit juice. Oh, that's nice A and little tart. bit of si simple syrup, just a little bit. Yep. And then this is what is going to make the cocktail really frothy. I'm adding an egg white. Okay. And you could typically, or you could just dry shake this, which means you're going to shake it without ice oh, and then okay. pour it over ice. But a bartender taught me this trick years ago. If you yeah. have a milk frother, you can do the same thing as the dry shake, but it gives yeah. it even more froth. So I'm going to give you this. Extra froth. I'm going to just let you go nuts. Okay, so I don't know. I'll you're try and... Take it. Do this in a way where oh, oh never mind. You'll notice that it gets frothy quite quick. Yeah, should See, I be putting and you can it go in all right the way? in. Go right in. Oh, there that's so much go. better. Okay. I didn't know. I don't froth my milk. Stop no. judging me. <laughs> this, this no is one perfect. told and me. Look at how much that's froth good. that is. That's perfect. So then you're done. Okay. And then you're just going to take um, a strainer. Yeah. And you're just going to strain it into oh. a cocktail glass. And it's very creamy, very so you want the whole creamy. thing to be frothed up, huh? That's right. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to garnish it with some lime. That's the good part. And it's a little nice... bit of grapefruit uh, zest, and I'm going to hand you that. Okay. I'm going to let you have a sip of that. All right. Your creation, really. Oh my gosh, it's so boozy. It's boozy, it's but good. isn't it nice, the froth? It is very nice. The froth lightens it up. Lightens it up. Right? It lightens it up. You forget okay. about the booze. Right? Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Let's do, what's the name of the last drink? This one's called the, the Last Word. The Last Word. So it was actually a cocktail that was created in the Prohibition era in, uh, in Detroit. Okay. And it was uh, made by not a bartender, in fact, but by a vaudevillian artist, oh. which were sort of like the um, stand-up comedians of the time. Right. And so, as you know, stand-up comedians have the... Last word. Last word. <laughs> 
it took me a second. I told you it was boozy. So okay. we're going to, so for this cocktail, there's actually only a few ingredients. We're going to add a little bit of gin. We're free pouring again, but it's about an ounce of gin. Okay. And then we're also using some green chartreuse. This is a French liqueur, and it's made of herbs. So that's okay. why you get the color and the name. So we're adding a little it's bit chartreuse. of that goes in. We're okay. also adding a little bit of maraschino cherry liqueur. It's a okay. clear liqueur. Nice it's got a sweet. little bit of sweetness, so we're adding just a little bit of that. And then our citrus here is lime juice, so we're adding a nice amount of lime juice. And then we're going to give this a shake. They're you all do very, that? yeah, sure. They're all very fresh because of the citrus. Once this gets shaken up, we're going to pour that into a coupe, and then we're going to garnish it with isn't that nice color oh, a too? Maraschino cherry. And you pop that in That's like so that. That's so nice. And then you've got one there. I've got one here. I've got a million of them. I'm gonna get Bruce to come in uh, Bruce? to like don't drink mine. I've already chosen the one I want to try. Which one? one of I want to try the last word. There, you know what? I'm gonna Why? give you the fresh. I want to try because we just had this great conversation fresh. about wills and estate planning. You're and really I'm bringing auditioning it all together. a drink for mm -hmm. my celebration of life. Oh, oh that's right. Right. Let so, me know what you feel about yeah. this one, and I'll let your uh, executor know if it passes. Oh my God, it's so good. You know, there's one thing that's missing. What's that? What? A stalk of celery. Oh. <laughs> so if we just put a stalk Who of do you celery. Think you are? I do one. want the last one. It all together here. It's you delicious. Have a drink too, you know what? I'm going to try this. You did a one. great job. God. Now, if you want to shake up one of these for yourself, the recipes are at CityLine.tv. Have a drink. Oh, hold on a second. Let's yeah. do cheers. 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 Here's cheers. to life. Cheers. Delicious. And a really good funeral.